Important events for opening summary show important events only please turn on to use this feature 1. Hour ago 11.55 set my colleague PJ Oder Sauer reports on movements led by Russian women who are challenging the official narrative that mobilized troops are needed for the war against Ukraine. We want total demobilization. Civilians should not be involved in conflicts. One of the women says at the beginning of this month's nine-minute speech, There are many of us. And our numbers will gradually increase. They are wives and mothers some of 300,000 Russian men drafted into army in September 2022. At a critical time when Ukraine needs to increase troop numbers for Kremlin after retaking parts. Countries South and North. Full story here we're tired of being good girls Russia's military wives and mothers protest Putin too. 10.54 said according to AFP News. Ukraine announced that it shot down 28 of 31 Russian unmanned aerial vehicles launched from the Crimean Peninsula it annexed on Monday. On December 25th, the enemy attacked with 31 UAVs. 28 martyr 136,131 UAVs were shot down. The Air Force said in a statement on social media. In Odessa, defense forces said the port infrastructure was damaged but there were no casualties. Updated at 10.59 set 310.17 set Russia on Monday accused Western countries of escalating tensions. In Moscow-friendly Serbia which has been shaken by protests over alleged corruption in elections held on 17 December. Just a day earlier, demonstrators had tried to attack the city hall of Belgrade, the capital of Serbia. Protesters are rejecting the results of parliamentary and local elections in which President Aleksandr Vucic said his party scored a landslide victory welcomed by the Kremlin. Serbian opposition supporters turn on lights during a protest outside the election commission. Building in Belgrade on Sunday. The country's officials denied the vote was rigged. Attempts by collective West to destabilize the situation in country are obvious. Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zaharova told state news agency RIA Novosti. Belgrade did not join international sanctions against Moscow over the Ukraine attack. But Serbia condemned Russia's aggression against the UN and its support caused controversy. According to AFP, Serbia is almost entirely dependent on Russian gas. Updated at 10.21 set 3953 Central Europe time Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan will pay a two-day visit to Russia. RIA Novosti news agency reported on Monday, citing the press service of the Armenian government. According to RIA Novosti, Pashinyan will attend meeting Eurasian Supreme Economic Council on December 25. And next day he will attend informal meeting heads state Commonwealth independent states. In October, Pashinyan skipped a summit in Kyrgyzstan attended by Vladimir Putin the leaders of Azerbaijan. Belarus, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan. At a time when the rift between Yerevan Moscow was growing, Vladimir Putin met with Armenian Prime 